<clears throat> that Satan likes to get in there and try and tear some, some uh, you know, believers apart. So that's why you hear a lot about churches falling apart. It's, it's, it's because the enemy got in, you know. If you give him enough room to put his toe in the door, he's going to put his foot in the door, and before you know it, he's in, and he's trying to take control. So you got to be careful. Um, pray and ask God if you're looking for a church. Ask him to lead you to the right church, and he will. And you'll know when you walk in. You'll, you'll just know. It's, it's, a, um, it's a know that you know that you know inside it's like the holy spirit will tell tell you that you are where you're supposed to be and as long as that church is in the bible and it's it's teaching the old testament and the new testament um then you're in the right place um okay so anyways i also wanted to share with you um a couple other scriptures it's okay proverbs 3 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things that the Lord does that, um, in our life, you know, that He asks us to do, um, and we don't understand, you know, why should we do this, or, you know, why should we do that? Well, we're not supposed to, <laughs> we're not just supposed to, um, Try and analyze God and figure him out and put him in a box because he's bigger than that. And there's so many different ways that he works through people um, to reach people about him, um, to show his love and, and to be loved. We can't analyze God. There's, I've known my husband for uh, 16 years and we've been married 13 years and I still... He still surprises me. There's a lot of things about him that I still don't know. And that's good because that keeps the fire going. Uh, if you know everything about one person overnight, you're, it's, what's the fun in that? I mean, uh, God's always, we're always learning. We're always growing. And that's why we're here is to grow and learn. If, if we knew everything that there was to know, then that would be it. What would our purpose be in here? It, there would be no purpose. You know, we're... We're getting to know God on an intimate level now. And when we're in heaven with Him and in His kingdom forever, worshiping and praising Him and doing good works and, you know, just showing our love for Him and for other people, we're going to realize that there's nothing that we can do to be perfect now. And that's okay. You know, God wants us to lean on Him. He, It's okay to mess up. We're not perfect. He knows we're not. Um, and that's good. That's what. That's how you know that you're um, a good Christian or that you're following Christ is when you don't want to stop learning about Him. You you're interested in this this love that He has and this direction and this this being and this this the truth of Him. You just want to know more and more. It's like an exciting. It's an exciting thing, It's it, but you have to keep it alive. And how you do that is you, you read his word every single day and you pray to, to the Lord every single day. That's how you get to know the Lord. Um, I'm excited. I, I'm excited to talk to you guys. There's so much that the Lord has shown me and told me that I never would have imagined possible or I never um, could have thought of in my own mind. In the last two years, um, because I've, I've taken the time to sit with him and talk with him and really give him my life to lead, and he's um, blessed me for that and showed me a lot of things, and I'm excited to, to share that stuff with you guys. But I really feel in my heart that people need to know that the Lord just wants people to seek him right now. And there's a lot of Christians who are asleep. Um, and what I mean by that is they're they're not on fire for God anymore like they once were, you know. Maybe when they first got saved, they were out the door telling everybody about Jesus. But now people are falling asleep. They're letting, you know, their work or hobbies take take over. And, and that's becoming their God. You know, we, we really need to take time with God and just see what he can do for our lives every day. So anyways, I hope you take that, that uh, word of encouragement. And, um... And just know that the Lord is with you. And there's other people out there um, who 
who need to be encouraged and and that's you know that's why I'm here if you guys ever need me to pray for you for whatever reason I, I want to know you know we're supposed to pray for each other and be there for each other and love each other and until the day that our Lord comes we have to lift it lift each other up I mean this world it's not getting better guys and it's not going to you know there's a lot of people out there that says you know they say it's going to get better but it's not. It, it, in the Bible, things are happening in this world that shows signs of, of the return of our Lord. And it's, it's as simple as that. It's proven right in the Bible. And if you get in your Bible and get to know Lord, the Lord, He's going to share a lot of things with you that will that, help you to help others. And it's all about love, guys. Okay, so one of my um, favorite scriptures, too, is, Nevertheless, I am continually with you you hold me by my right hand and that's psalm 73 23 um no matter where you are jesus is right next there i mean he's right next to you. he's right there with you maybe you're going through a divorce or maybe your parents have gotten divorced i don't know it doesn't matter how old you are if you're poor if you're rich you know it doesn't matter who you are it matters what's in your heart, and the Lord sees your heart, and He's right there with you guys. I, I can't stress that enough that He just wants you to call on Him. I mean, you know, there's so many people out there that <clears throat> that are hurting, and they don't have a Savior. They don't feel like anyone cares about them, and that's that's what the enemy wants to do is to lie to us to, to he seeks to destroy and kill that's it you know and if we just have a little faith if we step out in our faith and just pray to God and let him guide us we'll see the truth and we'll see God's heart he'll he'll let us feel his heart and that's that's one thing that that really gets me is a uh, knowing that there's other people out there who are hurting inside and they feel like they're alone and they don't know that all they have to do is call out to God and he'll be right there so if anything I just I want these you know anybody just people to know that that he's there and he's real and he Jesus loves you and there's nothing you can say or do that's going to change that love nothing just call out to God. He'll answer you. He's answered me when I was sinning beyond beyond what I where where I should have been. He he was right there with me and he gave me his hand, he pulled me out, pulled me out of that situation, gave me the strength to turn my life around and dust off and pick up and go go at it again just just to uh, lean on him and trust on him so anyways um I uh, I really would like to hear um, from you guys if you have any prayer requests or any concerns or just tell me about about things in your life and and I can help um you know pray for you and please pray for me, guys, because I know that when I'm starting this this video blog, I know the enemy is going to try and knock me down. Because the closer, the more that you have a heart on fire for God, the more the enemy grows and tries to knock that person down because that person becomes a threat. So pray for me, guys, and I'll keep you guys in my prayers too, okay? Thanks, and um, God bless.